Hi guys, you might remember this cash guy from the faulty window and the clock spring. So this video is going to be where we change the clock spring. Yeah, it's a good looking sticker, innit? So yeah, this is going to be changing the clock spring on this. So you may have seen a previous video that I diagnosed this clock spring using a decade box. If you didn't, then go and check that out. I'll see if I can create a series somehow so you can go link back to it. But today we're going to actually be replacing the clock spring itself, which means taking the airbag out, taking the steering wheel off, and then taking the stalks off, and then getting it, the whole unit out altogether. Let's have a look. On the side of the steering wheel here, you see there's a hole, and deep in that hole, there is a rod. Push that rod in with the flathead screwdriver, and it pops the airbag out. And with those two pushed down, Wiggling it at the bottom down here. And there's the airbag out. Essentially what you're just doing is pushing these prongs in here, getting it over these clasps here. Okay, so to remove this airbag now, you have to undo these clips here. And then to, have to undo the airbag here. So what I've done is lift this black tab, which is a safety clip on that. That just lifts out. Then I'm gonna put this metal side down, down there. So if anything does happen, it doesn't fire the metal side around and smashes my face to pieces. Now we're gonna get this 17mm nut off. You see there, there is a mark there that lines up with a tick above it, or the pointer above it, so you don't need to mark it. So what you have to do is just undo the nut. I told a fib, that was a 19mm, not a 17 So yeah, 19mm nut on the steering wheel with that off. Now we're just gonna rock the steering wheel free, like so. Now we have to remove the plastic trim around the steering column here and there's three Phillips screws underneath that will fall out and then you can just flap that out. Okay, now what I'm going to do, so you see here, the little white tab there, that needs to be pinched in. And then there's another one on the bottom here. That also needs to be pinched in. So you squeeze them both in. That stalk comes out. You're going to do the same with this side here. Just pop it down there. Now, quite simply, just going to undo these two posi drives in here. One in there, one in there. With the one done, there's a clip in here. Push that down, and then the whole assembly comes out. to undo these here. Now you can see the grey and the yellow is interlocking so you have to take them out together. And that's it. That's now removed. Time to put the new one back in. Now we've reassembled this in reverse order but something you want to pay attention to. This safety clip here. You want to leave this safety clip on because you don't want that to spin. So if we keep that in place we know everything's lined up perfectly and um, when it comes to recalibrating it in a bit now. And now it's time to put it back together. You see that this line here lines up with this line here which lines up with this line here so we know that that's doing well is now perfectly straight. So we pulled out the top down to reset everything. You can see now that this has turned to a passcode. So we'll just clear that off. Now with all that done, the airbag light is no longer flashing. This is the seatbelt light because I haven't got my seatbelt on. Um, but the airbag light has gone out. We've also obviously had to recalibrate the steering angle sensor on the top down. Now everything is perfect. 